Hi friends, today we will learn about a single cell eukaryotic organism, the amoeba. So let's start. It is a single celled organism that appears transparent and gelatin like. It has no fixed shape and it constantly changes its shape. Its average size is 500 micrometers to 1000 micrometers. It is mostly visible to the naked eye as a small speck, but you will need a microscope to see its detailed structure. The amoeba is a small living thing as it can grow, move, exchange gases, reproduce, and excrete waste. It is mostly found in lakes, rivers, ponds, wet soil, hot springs, water runoff from industries, poorly maintained swimming pools, and they can also be found in soil. Now let's learn various parts of an amoeba and their functions. Pseudopodia. This is a false feet or pseudopodia of the amoeba. We will learn its role later on. Plasma membrane. The amoeba has a membrane all around it, which is called a plasma membrane. It is a semi-permeable and elastic membrane. It allows the movement of materials in and out of the cell. For example, water, oxygen, waste, stone, and so forth. It has many microvilli attached to it, which prevent the amoeba from sticking to the surfaces of the water. It also allows the amoeba to change its shape. The cytoplasm. This is a gel-like substance within the amoeba. It is of two types. Endoplasm. Endoplasm is the darker cytoplasm in the center of the cell. And ectoplasm is a clearer cytoplasm found near the surface of the cell membrane. Cytoplasm is responsible for all sensitivities in the amoeba. The nucleus. This is the nucleus of the amoeba. This contains the genetic material of the cell, that is, the DNA. This controls the growth and reproduction for the amoeba. Vacuoles. These are vacuoles. They are used for storage and digesting of food. A vacuole is formed only when the amoeba has ingested its food or prey. Contractile vacuoles. These are these sorts of vacuoles. The contractile vacuole is basically a water bubble that regulates the water content in the cell. It is also a means of excreting its waste from the cell through the cell membrane. Without the contractile vacuole, the amoeba may burst. Undoubtedly, it is a very important organelle. Now, let's learn how this small, single-celled organism grows, moves, exchanges gases, reproduces, and excretes. Movement As we learned, an amoeba has no fixed shape. It constantly changes its shape, and this change in its shape of the organism brings about movement of the cell. The amoeba extends its cytoplasm slowly forming an extension which is called its false feet, or pseudopodia. It is called its false feet because this pseudopodia becomes a very temporary feet-like structure for the amoeba to help it move forward. This extended cytoplasm, or the false feet, not only helps it make it move forward, but also engulfs any food on the way. This is known as Amoeboid movement. Now let's learn how an amoeba eats and breathes. There is a thin membrane around the cell which is semi-permeable. It allows the movement of materials in and out of the cell, so water or oxygen waste. When an amoeba intakes food, a temporary storage unit called a vacuole is formed. Digestive enzymes are then released into the vacuole that digests the food and releases nutrients into the cytoplasm. Let's repeat. When an amoeba intakes food, a temporary storage unit called a vacuole is formed and digestive enzymes are released into this vacuole. This digests the food and releases nutrients into the cytoplasm. There are some special vacuoles called contractile vacuoles. 
they regulate the water content of the cell. Water enters the cell through the plasma membrane and gets stored in a contractile vacuole, which expands as more water enters the cell. When a lot of water has entered the cell, the contractile vacuoles contracts and expels all the water from the cell through the semi-permeable membrane. It also expels out waste from the cell. Respiration. The amoeba needs to take in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide. This exchange of gases takes place through diffusion across the semi-permeable membrane. Let's learn how do amoeba reproduce. Amoeba reproduce through a process called binary fission. In this process, the nucleus copies its genetic material and the cytoplasm splits into two new daughter cells, and each daughter cell is identical to the original parent. We will learn more about this type of reproduction, which is called binary fission in our higher grade. So now we just need to remember the amoeba reproduces through binary fission. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye bye